All right, so if you're on the Nebula camo grind, this is definitely the number one strategy at the moment. This is literally the only strategy you need to be using. Let's go ahead and run you through it. So the first thing you need to do is come onto Liberty Fools directed mode, carry on playing. And what we're gonna do is open up the church doors. And now the round cap is gonna be round 11. And this is the round we want, but you can up the round a little bit later on in the game. All right, so normally I like to at least, you know, upgrade my weapons a bit. Before I actually get into the spot, I usually go ahead and grab Pack-A-Punch level 1 just to start off with. And then I like to go ahead and go to the upgrade machine here and upgrade my weapon to level 2 rarity. Just so it's that extra bit better against the zombies. As you can see, it's literally melting through them already. Now we're going to be going on to the bank roof. But you want to make sure you get this zip line and this zip line only. And you want to make sure you do not open any of the other doors. Otherwise, this will not work as good. So don't open up this one. Don't open up this one and do not open up this one. The only other zip line you want to open is going to be this zip line right here. And you basically, oops, <laughs> all right, I didn't mean to get that zip line, but now we're back in position. You basically want to just hang out underneath this zip line here. And the zombies are all going to line up for you extremely easy and you're going to get some easy headshots. Also, quick tip, if you need to, if you go all the way to the back and pretty much float off the edge, as you guys can see, and then crouch the zombies literally do not hit you so if you need to you can go ahead and get into this spot as you can see if, if i stand up they hit you but if you crouch they literally do not hit you i'd strongly recommend at least get in speed cola deadshot daiquiri and juggernog but yeah as you can see none of these doors are open so the zombies spawn in nice and quickly and they all spawn close by there might be a mangler every now and then but they're very easy to take out because it's only going to be round 11 it's capped out at round 11 but as you guys can see, all of the zombies line up really, really easily. They're all extremely weak because, like I said, it's directed mode. It's going to be capped out at round 11, so it's extremely easy to kill them. And I've only got Pack-A-Punch 1 and uh, level 2 rarity. So once you get Pack-A-Punch 3 and keep leveling up your weapons to the maximum it can be, you're literally going to be one shot in these zombies and it's going to be the easiest headshots ever. After a while, if you want to, you can also go ahead and progress it to round 15. Just keep following the next steps of the Easter egg. It's directed mode, so it does guide you through it quite easily. It won't take you long, but I would only recommend doing this once you have Pack-A-Punch level 3 and you've maxed out your weapon on the rarity as well but yeah overall this is definitely the easiest strategy you can do right now for headshots it's extremely fast and it's very good for just xp in general so if you're trying to level up this is definitely one of the best methods make sure you subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video and make sure you turn those notifications on enjoy